The Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker. Which mess in the not planned out trilogy do you feel like fighting for? Me personally, I think neither of them come even close to Star Wario Shadows of the Empire. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have dated my precious Star Wario video with that crap, but whatever. But yes, I hope you are ready for the wonder that is Star Wario Shadows of the Empire. So these Star Wario cards are of course primarily based on the Power of the Force 2 line which came out in the 90s, specifically the Shadows of the Empire subset. But, even though the Star Wario cards are stealing stuff from the Shadows of the Empire figures, for some reason the character they have decided to steal the card back from is not from that line, it's the AT-ST driver. The AT-ST driver is also really popular for some reason with Power of the Force 2 bootlegs, as I've seen his picture on other ones as well. So I'd say initially they were going to call this Star Warrior, but for some reason cut it short at Star Wario. Wario. Someone working on this bootleg must have been a big fan of the Mario Land series. Obey Wario! Destroy Mario! The card backs of all these Star Warios again have the ATST driver's profile. We get to learn some really interesting facts about this unnamed guy, like that he was average height and had an Imperial issued blaster. The Star Wario card backs also have the stolen tagline, The Force is with you in all the Star Wars figures and vehicles! Which is kind of amusing because they don't show any vehicles on this card back. It's again kind of weird they've gone to the effort of editing these card backs to have sources from two different cards, so they've got basic figures and then Shadows of the Empire ones. I guess that was mostly done to fill space from where they are taking out the Kenner logo and copyright info. You can also see two different shades of black here from where they've just stolen stuff from the original card back and then where they filled it in, I guess. So yeah, these cards are just kind of a wonder of wrongness. We've got a regular Han Solo figure on a Shadows of the Empire style card with an ATST driver profile. And absolutely all of these figures just look stunning, don't they? It's kind of weird to remember the time that the real versions of these figures came out and it was kind of like the start of the big return of Star Wars and now it's just never gone away since. But if the real figures had looked more like this, maybe this would have been the end of the big return of Star Wars. So here's our four Star Warios uncarded. Don't they look uh, terrible? The four score will be with you or something. Ah, Princess Leia! Ah. She called me a scruffy looking nerf herder. Can't argue that. I want to go to Tashi Station and pick up some power converters to fix my stupid face! Why'd they paint it so it looks like Obi-Wan's pants don't go all the way down his leg? Capri, pants are the pants of a Jedi, Luke! No! That's not true! That's impossible! And, of course, if we compare old Ben next to Star Wario Ben, he, he doesn't have the capris. They also made his tunic kind of white instead of light beige like the real figure has. Another new detail they gave Star Wario Obi-Wan that the original one didn't have at all was a red buckle on his belt. Also, that crazy old man's gotten into tanning his hands. The original Power of the Force 2 Obi-Wan is a decent likeness of Al Guinness for a figure of the time. And then the, the Star Wario one is, um, not so much. I just, I don't understand at all why the Abe Lincoln beard happened on this figure. What'd that Kenobi guy look like? I don't know, he had some kind of beard, whatever. Just give him something, it's close enough. And they didn't paint any of the accessories, so he's just got a black stick instead of a lightsaber. 
The Power of the Force 2 Han Solo figure has a pretty decent likeness of Harrison Ford for a figure of the time, and then there's the crappy Star Wario piece of shit. I mean, just, just look at these two faces next to each other. It's so ridiculous. Which one's the bootleg, guys? Star Wario Han's pants are also kind of sticky, so that's yuck. Star Wario Han, though, is keeping an extra trim around the waist. The proportions on the Power of the Force 2 figures were all kind of weird since they made everyone kind of muscly, but that looks uh, extra strange when you give them like a really trim waist like this. Especially on this stupid, surprised, blue eyed idiot. Star Wario Han also has the extra detail of a giant screw hole in his back. And they didn't give Wario Solo that broken red line going down his pants. Unfortunately, I don't have Power of the Force 2, Leia, so here she is next to the original Kenner one, and that makes uh, the Kenner one's head look really huge compared to small head Wario Leia. Now, the paint job on some of the Power of the Force 2 Leia's left a bit to be desired, and some of them still, though, don't look quite as doofy as the Wario Leia. Uh, you know what? I don't know. The original Power of the Force 2 Leia is pretty bad. They fixed it some with later releases of Leia, but the first one, that's... Ugh, you have to choose your flavor of stupid on there. So they've changed the engineering of the kind of skirt on Leia's outfit here. Instead of it kind of being attached and being a rubbery plastic that'll come off, they changed it to peg joints. So when you take this off of her, she's got a giant hole that goes right through her. <laughs> a butthole and, and then another hole right above her crotch. <laughs> Wonderful. Also, uh, her head's really loose, so she's a bobblehead. Yeah. They really, um, did Leia no favors in the Wario line. What is Wario? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Why am I referencing that? So here's Farm Boy Luke next to some Luke wannabe idiot. They just left his pants white. That's the biggest issue with this pile of crap. And uh, no different color for the belt buckle on Luke. I guess they couldn't afford it after they wasted all that paint on the different belt buckle color for Obi-Wan. So the Power of the Force 2 farm boy Luke uh, isn't the greatest. I mean, I don't know if I'd say it's Leia bad, but still, <laughs> it's not the best Mark Hamill. But look at them muscles! Oh man! This is almost original Star Wars cover art, Luke. But anyway, the face on the Star Wario Luke is like perfect. It honestly took me a second to realize that there wasn't a mini Mark Hamill standing in this room right now. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Wow! That is so Luke. I love how they even got the detail of Luke's one cross eye. Perfect. That's how he looks. Now let's look at stupid Luke's face through the hole in Leia's butt. If I can line that up. I don't know if I can. Eh, close enough. These are just how you remember the 90s Star Wars figures, as long as you have an extremely fuzzy memory of them. Everything about them is just a bit cheaper. The materials used, the construction, and the details. The faces are obviously the high point of the terrible here, making the Star Warios look extremely doofy, and uh, that Leia hole, uh, yeah, that's uh, really something. Three. The figures are mold copies, and the card is all stolen assets besides the modification of one word, zero. The stupid faces combined with the Wario title earns them a bit of weirdness. Plus, we have Holy Princess Leia and AB Link Kenobi, seven. The package really wouldn't hold anything all that interesting to it if it wasn't for the title change. And I'm sure it was supposed to be Star Warrior at some point, so I'd really love to know why they didn't finish the word. 
I'm not sure of every figure that got bootlegged on this card, but I've seen Luke in Imperial Disguise, R2-D2, Yoda, Chewie, and Leia in Bounty Hunter Disguise. There also seems to be another bootleg line which is very similar to Star Wario. These ones are on regular Power of the Force Return of the Jedi Luke card backs. These figures look about the same as the Star Wario's, just as doofy, and they even did the AB Link Kenobi thing, so it's possible these were from the same bootleggers. Anyway, if the card had anything else on it that was that amusing, it'd be a bit higher, but just for the Wario title, it's a four. Looking at these figures next to the real ones is kind of like an eye test. Better? Worse? And sometimes we got rattly heads with buttholes. Three. And the bootleg zones overall is seven! Some of the stupid decisions in this line, like the name, are really what make it for me. The faces are just so bad they're hilarious, and giving Kenobi a Lincoln beard is just such an oddity. <laughs> Crassite for a stormtrooper, aren't you? Hey, I'm not even wearing a stormtrooper outfit. Oh, you're just so ugly. I kind of wish you were. Oh, ben never told me it was going to be this way. Luke, use the Capris, as I told you to do four score and nine movies ago. Shut up, old man! I hate you! <laughs> oh no, Ben! I shouldn't have done that! I'm gonna use the Force to bring him back! That's not how the Force works! Ah, uh, Luke, you actually probably shouldn't use the Force. It'll likely kill you. That's not how the Force works, either! Uh, wrong, Han. Clearly someone hasn't been watching the new trilogy. Now, let's sing the Star Wars song! I'm dead! Now I shall rise from my grave! Wow, guys, look, it's Obi-Wan. Get that nostalgia pop in. <laughs> you seem kind of mad about something, Han. Yeah, my stupid face is what I'm mad about, princess. Why, you scruffy looking nerf herder! What is wrong with your head, Luke? I am your father. Oh, oh, uh, um, you know what? Never mind. I never had any children. Dad, please!